Welcome to my crib. Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel and as you can see from the title, today's video is going to be a highly requested, long awaited flat tour of my London apartment and I have honestly never been asked for a video more. I think because I don't really show, I show a lot of my flat but I don't really show like the full flat tour and I think it's something that just I really like watching and I really like seeing of other people so I thought it was time I did one myself and it's also just really nice to look back on and see in the future of like previous places I've lived like I love going back and seeing like old house tours and stuff and just remembering places I've lived in and how I decorated and how my styles changed in interiors and all that kind of stuff so today is going to be all about my beautiful little home it's just one of the most calming spaces and I really love living here. It's honestly just so relaxing. The colours of the kitchen and stuff just feel like it honestly it just feels like a little safe bubble and it's the first place I've ever lived completely on my own and it's just felt really safe, really secure, really cozy. But I wanted to quickly mention obviously I do live in London and this video is kindly sponsored by Quintain Living who kindly give me a percentage discount on my rent to live here and I can tell you all about the area because I actually live in Wembley Park which is one of the coolest places in London and I think it's kind of like a hidden gem because not many people know about it so it is considered a zone four but it's actually so quick and easy to get into central it takes like 15 minutes to get to baker street and like bond street and stuff and it's just a really great place to live like we've got box park there's really great restaurants around here like so many restaurants i can't even tell you there's great independent bakeries there's a bread ahead which if you've ever had a bread ahead donut you will know bread ahead is the place to be there's obviously the stadium which was incredible during the euros the atmosphere was like electric is the only way i can describe it like the final was so intense and like we had the balcony door open the whole final and you could just hear like the stadium erupting with noise like it was so cool and it's just it's honestly been the coolest place to live i've absolutely loved living here and i'm gonna stop waffling share with you my flat and then we'll have a catch up at the end come on in okay welcome to my flat so i'm gonna give you a little tour around and show you every room in here because i don't think i've ever done a full house tour in this place and I want to show you where everything is because I think sometimes it can be confusing in vlogs and stuff and I can just talk you through. Just behind you is a storage cupboard where I basically just keep all of the stuff that I don't want out, so like suitcases and stuff. And then there's also a chest of drawers because there's nowhere to put it in my bedroom. So I thought I'd put it in the hallway and it makes quite a nice little like console table. And then in here we have my bedroom. So we're going to go in here first. So this is my bedroom, which I never really show because it is quite a dark room. And to be honest, I spend literally no time in here apart from sleeping. So I've just obviously got my bed and my bedside tables. My bed is from Arista Living. Bedside tables are oak furniture land and they are just a dream. They're so lovely and they're really nice and well made. And then I've also just got like my ensuite suite in the corner, which we'll go into in a minute. One thing I really loved about this flat is the fact that I do have built-in wardrobes. So there's one in here and one in the other bedroom. And it's got one big long rail and a shelf at the top. So really good for storage. And I tend to typically keep my coats and like long dresses and stuff in here. And then everything else lives in the other bedroom because I'm using it as an office. However, if you were like house sharing or anything, obviously this is more than enough space for one or two people and then obviously got nice floor to ceiling windows in the corner i've got a big mirror there just because the lighting is so great and i thought positioning it like that kind of bounced the light back into the room really nicely too these are the prints around my bed as well so because my bed has a really nice big headboard i thought i would put some prints on the wall one has just fallen off and i have no command strips so we're going to ignore it and pretend it's not fallen off but i just thought it was really nice to kind of break it up with the black and whites in here and just kind of keep a really nice neutral but nice color palette and then just have like the hints of dark but that's basically what i can say about in here it's just a bedroom it's just where i sleep and then in the corner of the bedroom like i said is my own suite so this is a really bright room i actually have a really cool little lights down the side of the mirror so very good for doing your makeup very bright and if i'm honest the one thing i really miss when i leave this flat is the lighting because it's so good in the bathrooms so this is just a typical ensuite. suite like these are just like big floor to not floor they're not floor what are they they're like countertop all the way up storage units really handy because there's so much storage in these literally fit everything in my life behind them you've got the little towel rails and like everything else you need in a bathroom and then i really like this shower because it's kind of like a walk-in so you don't have to like open doors or anything you literally just like walk in shower and leave again um and it's a really powerful shower 
that's another thing I'm gonna miss. It's a really good shower and I really like it. And I love having an ensuite because I can just like roll out of bed and into the bathroom in the morning. It's great. <laughs> so the office is directly next to my bedroom and this is where you typically will see most of my vlogs and stuff this is where I spend a lot of my time so this is kind of like my spare bedroom slash dressing room slash office but to be completely honest I only get to use an office because I've got a desk like that's the only part of this that is anything office-y um, so as I said I keep everything in here I have got a single bed here but this does pull out to a king so a king size bed fits in here which is mental because you never normally get second bedrooms where king size beds fit um, and obviously I've got my prints on the walls I've got a little hanging bit in the corner here which I really love so these are just beads off Etsy and then I've got a little hanging plant from Fi which I thought was really cute just to add some height to the room and just because the prints are on the wall it kind of gives it a little bit of a focus piece then the day bed here kind of doubles up as a sofa so sometimes i'll sit and work on here or like read a book or something but it also is really good when i have people over because they can sleep on it also a really good bed for me to use props so you've probably seen a lot of pictures of me like lying in this as a picture and stuff um really good for storage as well little bookshelf in the corner and then if i flip you around to the other side <laughs> and then this side of the office is kind of my like wardrobe side so you may remember these from my last house but I bought them with me, really love them. So you've got my shoe storage and my like exposed rail. So this is kind of the stuff that I grab quite a lot and obviously just for some shoe storage. Um, so I really love that. And then on the end of the unit, I've just popped a little desk. So this is the tiny, I think it's called the mound desk from Ikea. Really small, really easy if you have a limited space. And to be honest, I wanted to prioritize the use of space in here rather than having like a big desk because you just don't need it. So I've got my iMac here and then obviously all my bits and pieces and then my little velvet chair from um, Amazon. And this is just like a really easy little desk set up. Have to admit, haven't really used it that much since I've moved in because I do prefer working on the sofa and my laptop, but it is here if I need it. The only thing is I find this room gets very messy very quickly because it is kind of like my dumping ground and I don't really like working in mess so I didn't really think that through but it is here if I need it and it comes in really handy because when I film my like ways to style and stuff I stand my mirror against the wardrobe and then I basically just use this to watch Real Housewives so and as I said in the other room you do get the built-in wardrobe so this is the same as the other room nice big double wardrobe with the rail and the shelf I'm not going to show you inside the wardrobe because it's a bit of a mess but it is really good for storage and you've literally got the full height of the room as well and they're really tall ceilings so lots and lots and lots of storage and to be honest like you could easily have two people sharing this flat and they'd have more than enough storage space then moving around we've got my mirror leaning here which is where it typically stays for the most part just again bounces the light around the room it's actually the only place it fits in here and it just kind of covers the radiator which i never have on because this flat is so warm so it just kind of holds <laughs> holds the heat behind it and just helps to have that little bit of light because the window is completely opposite and again every room in this flat which you've probably seen in vlogs has floor to ceiling windows which i think is really hard to get in london and quite rare to be honest in england like you don't really get many floor to ceiling windows so it's been a bit of a luxury just to have that much light coming in all the time but yeah that's basically my office so we'll make our way into the bathroom then when you come out of the office i've actually put this print here because it's a bit of a blank wall and i really like the fact that it's just as you got this so if i'm ever having a bit of a meltdown in the office i can just come out and see this print and remind myself how great i am <laughs> well, I'm obviously joking. <laughs> and then in here is the main bathroom. So this is basically the same kind of layout. So you've got obviously the sink and the toilet. I've got my big thing of lush bath bombs in here, which is perfect. It's my favorite thing about this whole room is my bath situation. So that basket just kind of holds them all the time. Obviously got the sink, toilet, um, and I use it to have baths or obviously if people stay, they have showers and stuff in here. But this bath is great, it's really, really long. I've obviously got a bath tray and stuff. So it's just a nice little relaxing room. Um, and it's really great because when you put the candles on and stuff and shut the door, it's just really nice and dark and like relaxing. I'm really glad I have this because I think the one thing I really wanted in a flat was one that had a bath. And the fact I've got two bathrooms is just such a luxury. And I love having the bath and the shower. It's great. And then as you can see behind me, there is no door to the living room, which is beautiful because I've got this giant balcony door. So I'm going to take you through to my open plan living room and kitchen and show you what that looks like. Okay, so this is the kitchen living room, which I think is actually a lot bigger than it looks on camera because this is just like a whole bit of dead space in between the two, just to separate them. So this end of the room is my kitchen, which I love because it's so bright. I think I'm quite lucky in having like two windows in the kitchen, especially in a flat, you don't really get that. So I've got my little island here, which is kind of like, if I have friends over for drinks and stuff, this is kind of where we congregate and just drink and have fun and play games. And we have had the odd dinner around here. Like we did a roast dinner and stuff at Christmas. So we've got the two bar stools and stuff obviously there. And then this side of it is actually cabinets. So this is where like all my food and stuff goes. 
and it is quite annoying because you can't put bar stool things under each side but it's not too bad because you can kind of just balance chairs here and then you still can enjoy it um, and it means I've got extra storage for food and then over here I actually have a dishwasher in this corner which is a dream because it's so convenient and easy it means I don't have to faff things lots of storage space I've got my sink and everything obviously I've got my little plant garden in the windowsill which is what I thought of the second I moved in like that's the first thing I thought about I've got an induction hob that's like electric so it's quite cool and it's really minimal cleaning which is perfect you don't have to get in all like the little bits and pieces like you literally just wipe it over oven if you've heard the story about the oven we'll leave that for another video um microwave and stuff here obviously and then all the cupboards and the one thing i like is this, this is the induction fan so it just pulls out and it's also got lights and stuff but it tucks away really nicely and then this is actually a spice cupboard so really good use of space there and then obviously all the different cupboards and stuff and then i've got my fridge freezer here honestly like this is the dream kitchen for storage there's just so much space for different bits and like everything has its own home really really great and like i said just really bright and airy and like it just feels really nice like this is just a really calming room and then this end of the room we've just got my living room so i've kind of tucked it away just so that you can still get through the doorway and stuff and i thought it worked best having the sofa to kind of separate the room up so tv's obviously here with the tv unit which is amazing on demand then i've got my ikea sofa which is actually a three seat sofa but i added the footstool to make it a corner because i didn't want to buy a whole new sofa um the coffee table is also ikea so the mirror so it's basically everything you see is ikea um, really cheap and really easy when I first moved in to just grab it all and then the rug is actually from Fi which I'll leave linked footstool I get asked about all the time is from um, River Island Home really old they don't sell it anymore but it's just the best thing ever I just need to give it a clean I really like my living room I think it's really cozy like when you're sat here it feels like you're in a really small little cozy living room because you're tucked away but it's still nice because if someone's cooking or something you can still chat and I just really like it I think it's a really nice space and then the best thing about this whole flat is the balcony so we're going to take you out there and then this is my balcony so obviously we've got the nice big windows here into the flat i'm not going to show you that end because there's only a tiny little bit of space and i've not done anything with it so it's really worth looking at but this end is kind of like my entertaining end so i've got my little fairy lights strung around just to give us a little bit of light in the evening you've got the bench and the seats as well just so it's like a nice little cozy Space for like entertaining, or even if I'm just sat out there on my own. I've just got my chili plants on here. So I've got my little jalapeno plant, I've got my little um, habaneros, and my cayenne peppers just growing away down here. And yeah, that's my house. So that was my flat tour. I hope you liked having a little look around. Obviously it is a two bed and I have the second bed as my office slash dressing room slash spare room slash bit of everything room it's kind of like my little hub in the house and i really like that i've got it because it's just been a really nice space to work and just like just i don't know it's kind of like the central point of my house and then obviously my living room and stuff as well but hope you liked having a look around my flat and i can't wait to share the next video with you guys because let me tell you it's an exciting one <laughs> bye guys